Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Gemini and pull your overarching message or energy for the week. So <laughs> the card has just flown out. Oh wow! <laughs> that is nice energy. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, new beginnings. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, thank you. Oh my goodness, Gemini. <laughs> I've got miracles. Wow, I haven't seen that card for a long time. Miracles. And what do we have for Gemini, please, angels? What is the message that Gemini needs to hear the most for the week? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Because <laughs> obviously the Ace of Wands is connecting to power. We have Take Back Your Power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Beautiful energies there, Gemini. So let's pull some cards. I'm going to pull three cards this week. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card, the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for our lovely Geminis? Thank you. Message for Gemini. 25th to the 31st of January 2021, please. Message for Gemini. Thank you. There's quite a few cards there, Gemini. Um, <laughs> five cards. Okay. I'm going to put those down there like that because it feels like that's the challenge position. Two of Cups is advice from Spirit and the Ten of Swords is your outcome, which actually is Gemini energy. Let's clarify the cards and go deep into the message for Gemini, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands, but it's fallen out reverse, Gemini. Interesting, because the, the, the deck is upright. So it's obviously reversed for a reason in the challenge position. The Two of Cups, we have clarified with the Four of Cups. And the Two of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords, which is our energy. And again, another new beginning. I'm going to start here. This is beautiful. So lovely. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Can sometimes be to do with some inspiration that you're getting here, Gemini. Um, some kind of inspiration or inspired action that you're getting. So that can be the energy. Obviously, it can be in terms of new opportunity coming into your life as well. Um, and it's something that is exciting, something very much connected to your passions, your desires. It's a very, very beautiful energy here. It can be in love, you know. It can be in terms of something that fires your passions in business, career, you know jobs that kind of thing as well but it promises growth you can see it sprouting it promises growth and progress and success if you take action towards this and it's given to you i mean generally this is given to you by the hand of god the divine the universe it's how we're connected to spirit the aces very much connected to our destiny so what this will do is give you your power back in a situation um, because you're being told you're being given some kind of miracle expect miracles this week 
interesting energy. It's a card of action, the Eight of Wands. So something is definitely happening here. We have the Eight of Wands. I feel in this energy, in the, in the challenge position, it can be delays, things not happening. Yeah, definitely getting this energy of delays. Because Three of Pentacles is try, is manifesting. It can be a card of manifesting. It can be teamwork collaboration. If you're setting up a business with other people, um, you might have chosen to do that. You know, if you've experienced some financial change in your situation, lack, or you're just trying to rebuild, you're trying to manifest a new level of success for yourself. You know, prioritizing, uh, focusing, doing the work that you need to, to get yourself out of this feeling of financial lack, material lack, career lack. Sometimes that five of pentacles can be about losses or change in your financial circumstances in your money career business, because it comes after the king of pentacles, which is a sign of success. So it feels for some of you, there has been some change in terms of your money career finances. The message here, I mean, it feels like it's got you down. But the message here changes afoot. And again, the Knight of Wands is saying, yeah, don't worry, the opportunity is coming. There are delays, but the offer opportunity is coming. And it's going to happen. You know, this is a card, the sun is a card of vitality. Things being energized, beginning to grow, beginning to happen. So it feels like for some of you, it's a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness as well. I'm definitely getting in this energy here, Gemini. You may have taken action towards to get an opportunity. In term, it feels to do with. I am feeling more money to do to do with money, career, finances. But obviously, take it as you will. Uh, and something may have been put on hold for whatever reason. Could have been the pandemic. And there have been delays, and that's what you've been experiencing. But what you're being told, there is the change coming because the opportunity is happening. The door is opening this week. So very exciting, and it's a, it's a blessed energy. It's divinely guided, expect miracles. Very exciting indeed. The Four of, of Cups can be a card of stagnation, boredom. Um, it can be to do with you're being given a divine nudge. And it's, it feels like it's a week of action for you. So it might well be things of the past that you might have gone for, for example, for whatever reason, they haven't materialized or they were delayed or something was put on hold. I would say in this energy, Gemini, it's worth pursuing taking action to see if anything's changed. Because for some of you, it can sometimes be about missed opportunity. It can sometimes be about you need to take action in this direction because that's where the opportunity is as well. So if it's not to do with some kind of it's a divine nudge. You basically have four opportunities here. So for some of you, there could be some opportunity that arises, that has arised that you thought was on hold or wasn't happening. And it feels for some of you, and if it's, li it's linking with multiple opportunities. And again, I've got multiple options here. One opportunity is happening here. And I'm definitely getting that energy. There's something happening. You need to take action. There's something happening. Uh, because we have the Two of Cups, which is a card, an offer, and offer invitations, opportunities. I mean, this is a card of, I mean, it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. I mean, yeah, that could be the case for some of you. But it's a card of a bond between two people, like-minded souls. Um, the conversation instantly flows with these people. They feel like they've known them for, for each other forever, you know. As soon as they come together, it feels in this situation, you've known each other for a lifetime, you know. It's that kind of energy. And you can have that with somebody that you work with. You can have that with somebody that you love. You can have that with a, a new friend. You know, it's that kind of energy. 
I definitely feel in this context there is some kind of uplifting offer, invitation, opportunity coming your way that's exciting. That is allowing you to put something to do with delays behind you. Because the night promises change, but it's a change that has been delayed for whatever reason. But this night still holds the wand. And this is the overarching energy now. It's happening. The Ten of Swords is a Gemini energy. There is definitely an energy with the Ten of Swords of the pain is over. So if you've been hurt in whatever context, um, I mean, you know, the sun is a card of healing as well. If you've been rebuilding your life, if things haven't gone well in terms of love, romance, relationships, if you felt lack in a situation, there is definitely some kind of new offer, opportunity coming your way um, that will allow you to put a difficult situation behind you. There's something to do with delays or even distance, something to do with maybe distance things causing delays that could be in a romantic level. Um, but the Ten of Swords in terms of business, finance, career is a card of where you've been hurt deeply, flawed in a situation. Whatever context this is, Gemini, it is an ending. The Ten is a completion. This has run its course. And it's not time to focus, take your focus from the negative now to the positive because there is a break in the clouds that is pushing away the darkness and bringing in new positive energy. And again, I'm seeing that very much connected to this sun. The sun is beginning to rise again. There is some kind of breakthrough coming your way. And, you know, this can be a card of progress, the two of wands, seeing progress in a situation or making some kind of decision, can be choosing between two opportunities as well. Um, but their growth, they're exciting. Um, this is choosing to step into unknown territory, to bring expansion to your life, to go for something now, to choose what you want and what you don't want now. It definitely feels in this energy, Gemini, that there may well be some decision or choice or choice about your future here. Um, but it feels connected to some kind of I'm definitely seeing this kind of opportunity coming your way. Seeing the beginnings of progress in a situation on a new path. Because we have the Ace of Swords, which is the victory, the breakthrough card, the success card. Um, and it's your crown of power is being awarded to you by God, the divine, the universe for coming through what has been a very testing time. So I definitely get in this energy, the breakthrough, the breakthrough of this. If you're feeling at a crossroads with the Ten of Swords, you know, and you're wondering which direction to go, I definitely feel for some of you, you will choose the direction that's right for you. You know, like I said, I mean, this can be a card of inspired action bringing a breakthrough to your situation. But I definitely feel in this situation, this is very much linked to the beginnings of progress, seeing the progress, signs of progress in a situation. Um, and it's resulting in some kind of opportunity, new beginning, the beginnings of new growth, something exciting that is being awarded to you. It feels that when something has been put on hold or there's been challenges with distance, the new door is opening for you now. Very, very beautiful energy. And it will put you back in your power. And it does because it's the Ace of Swords. It's your energy, air energy. So definitely this energy of miracles. Expect miracles because it feels like you're being assisted every step of the way by God, the divine, the universe. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. Very powerful energy, uh, Gemini. So let's pull a final card, final message for Gemini, please. Final message for Gemini, thank you.
final message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have Otter. Initiations, be open through this transitional time. Very, very nice energy. Like I said, there could be some life choices that you have to make, but nevertheless, it is something that you don't want to miss. That is what you're being told. You don't want to miss this kind of opportunity coming your way. And it feels whether it's to do with uh, a kind of connection that's coming your way in terms of a person or an offer, invitation, opportunity. It is definitely something very, very exciting indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.